Welcome to the penultimate day of 2015. We're taking on Dr. T for one of the final times. I think the final time actually today because it is a volcano day today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and tack Dr. T stage one. It's not very long left until the new update, which is going to be massive. I can't wait for that. I have been uh, slacking off a lot with uploading these videos. I mean, I've been recording quite a few of the Dr. T videos, but unfortunately, I haven't actually been uh, uploading it. So, mainly due to the fact that I did start recording them a little bit later, and by the time they'd be uploaded using Australian internet, it'd take forever. So, I did decide to not upload a couple of days worth of episodes. Lots of uh, family things, and of course, it's the festive season, so I guess hopefully I can be forgiven for that. But uh, let's get right back into it and. Uh, We've got 11 or so days until I go away, which uh, when we'll come back, we'll definitely start grinding out yet again for Dr. T and hopefully uh, start building the channel up a little bit more. So what I can see over here is there's a lot of these supplies out over here on the left. So let's go take some of them. Uh, let's go shoot at this third bunker and that should get rid of also all these bunkers. Of course, my barrage is maxed out but that gives us a lot of extra gun bay energy which is always very nice so next up what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to drop all of my warriors up onto this supply crate and then i will flare them onto the right hand side in the meantime i'll go ahead and get one artillery onto two supplies right there and i think that's it for the supplies that are next to each other pretty much is all right, so now what we have to do is I'll go ahead and shock. Oh, damn it. That boom cannon managed to get one shot off, so I did lose a couple of my, well, one warrior at least. I think what I'm going to do is actually just flare onto the right-hand side so that way all of our troops get onto that headquarters, which they should. Some actually do end up going to the supply points, which I don't really understand why they do that because headquarters is the closest thing to them, but whatever i'd love to know why that happens but let's get right into it as you can see i don't have many uh diamonds left that is mainly due to the fact that of course when i was recording i wanted to rush the warriors but unfortunately till no avail because i didn't end up uploading those videos which is definitely quite silly of me now over here there's a lot of these cannons what i think i'm going to do is go ahead and try to clear out well would have loved to have been able to clear out that um rocket launcher as well here we go maybe we could get that mortar there we go that's actually worked out perfectly that pretty much saves us at least one shock at the very least one shot it should be a little bit more i think so we're just going to go ahead on the right hand side yet again and clear out the supplies we can hang around quite a bit here wait up until our guys start clearing all of this out oh damn it okay that's okay no they <laughs> definitely should have um smoked that sniper tower here on the right a little bit quicker actually a lot quicker but that's life i guess i'm going to go ahead and shot twice that's going to be more than enough and I only lost one troop there, even though that was very, very messy. Definitely should have smoked that sniper tower so all our guys would have clumped up there and not attacked that sniper tower, of course. But we've got to deal with what we've got, so let's get right into Dr. T stage 4. And we are plowing through all of these stages. Now, I find these couple of stages where the headquarters is either on the very far left, usually on the very far left, or on the right hand side but usually on the left it's uh much harder to actually path your warriors whereas like I say it's right in the middle or even on the right hand side it's fairly easy to go ahead and hang around the left hand side but when a right hand side sorry when i feel it's on the left like you need uh to i guess traverse the whole island a little bit uh more carefully so what I'm going to do over here is, well, we'll get right into the attack. We don't really need to check out the headquarters health. Unfortunately, we're not able to actually get all of these supplies over here on the right. I mean, we can use our critters, of course. 
but I'll refrain so because I guess a lot of you guys that are a little bit lower wouldn't have that. Now over here, how am I going to do this? That is a great question. I think I'm going to drop one artillery here and I don't even think we're going to get that mine. Nope, that was not good. And here we should be able to get this mine. There we go. Okay, that's much better. And then what we are going to do is, let's have a look. This is going to take up quite a bit of gun bear energy though. But I will take it, drop one smoke, and we'll get onto this shock launcher. Haven't lost anyone just yet, thankfully. Seems like there is a little bit of space that I left there, unfortunately. We'll go ahead and flare our troops onto the headquarters and smoke them there. Alright, I think I might have lost a couple of troops there, which is no good. I'll get that shock launcher. And I guess that cannon as well on the top. And that's all I think I really have to worry about. So I'm going to throw a couple of healers down. Just to stop anyone from dying. And all of our troops managed to stay alive with full health as well. I think I did lose a couple at the start over here though. It was a little bit messy. But probably could have dropped down another um, smoke or two. Just to protect ourselves a little bit better. All right, now we're getting into the nitty and gritty. As you can see, I've only got 476 um, victory points, which is not much, but of course, I don't really have any motivation to clear out the map, like I keep on saying. Hopefully this new update definitely brings in something new to the game and breathes some life into it, because that's what I feel it really needs. I've got 85,000 plus 130,000 health over here. I think the parting is actually going to be very easy if we go onto this machine gun onto this machine gun, and then onto the headquarters. Should be easy. Uh, don't see any supplies right next to each other. There's a couple over here on the left, but we'll give them a miss. And it seems like we've only got one shock launcher, so if I shock over here, we'll be able to get that cannon over here. And maybe if I shock onto these two machine guns or something, that'll be good. So not really too much to worry about over here, actually. What I will do, though, is drop one artillery on here. And another artillery onto these two mines up over here. Alright. And now we should be good. So I'm going to go drop all of my warriors and we'll flare up onto this machine gun. Go ahead and smoke twice. Okay. We should have left that smoke a little bit closer because that machine gun is going to be able to get a few of our guys. Of course, I've got a lot of gun but energy to uh, spend. But we should be alright. Like, no matter how much gun but energy you've got, we don't really waste all that much. You could be a little bit more conservative with the uh, well, heals, of course. After, you'll end up losing a bit more troops than me. But that, but also a bit more conservative with your smokes. But seems like we did very well there. We did lose one troop that I saw right at the end after we destroyed the headquarters because of a mortar shot. No real worries there. All right, only two losses. Oh, and we get a crystal, which is not guaranteed at all. All right, so on to stage six. Now, this one's very close to the beachfront. So we've got, so let's see, 100, 190,000 plus 120. Uh, we just definitely need to clear out all these mines that are about here. And, hmm... I don't see any supplies right next to each other. It's probably staring right in front of me though, but not around the map. All right, so we're going to be dropping all of our troops right on the headquarters, I guess, right up over here. So the way I'm going to do this is we'll go attack and we'll drop a barrage up over here. I should get that supply point as well, hopefully. There we go. And we'll go ahead and get, let's see, I don't think I'll be able to get that supply point, damn it. Alright, and now we can choose whether or not we want to destroy these two mines up onto the left of the headquarters. I think I'll give them a miss though, to be honest. Not sure. Hmm. No, I won't. I'll give them a miss. Oh, actually, no. Because I'll stack up, won't they? So send in an artillery there, and down they go. Alrighty. So let's get right into the nitty and gritty, drop all of our troops, and we'll go flare them onto the rocket launcher. 
Oh, some guys decided to run around the left, which is no good. No. And then we'll just flare straight onto the headquarters. Some guys go even further to the left, which is annoying me. But that's alright. So now, let's have a look. I think I'm going to drop one, two, three shots. There's more than enough. Throw a heal down. Uh, of course, that takes uh, quite a bit of gun bat energy, but by the time the headquarters falls, which is right now, pretty much nothing that was shocked is able to attack us in time. So, very, very minimal losses during the first six stages. Let's hope that we're able to play our through stage seven as well, just as easily. What I will have to do... All right, so we're on to the final stage of Dr. T, stage seven, and it is very, very difficult. The stage is almost as much health as a Colonel Giha, but we've only got one attack. So what I decided to do is boost up my troop damage as well as gun bat energy masterpieces. As always, everything will be down below in the description as to what level it is. But let's go ahead and get right into it. We'll scout it out, of course, and I'll explain my thinking behind what we're doing. Now, the headquarters has 160 plus 384,000 health, so level 21 headquarters. We do have two shock launchers on the left and right hand side, but they are not within range of the headquarters, so that's always very nice. There's a lot of mines about. Pretty much whatever path you choose, you are going to have to get rid of the mines, which is no fun really. There are two supplies right next to each other. You can choose which ones to destroy. But I'm going to go ahead and, I think, double smoke the beach, get onto this machine gun, then onto the ominous hatch, and then onto the headquarters. Maybe I'll be able to go from the machine gun straight to the headquarters, but it's too risky for me. So let's go ahead and get right into the attack. We will be using a barrage. There's another way that you can go around, around the left-hand side onto this machine gun, and then onto the mortar, and then onto the headquarters, but I find that a little bit too tricky. So let's go ahead and... Um, also, you do need critters for this strategy, because the rocket launchers absolutely screw us over. Ooh. I don't know why my storage settings are almost full, but anyways, let's go destroy this. Must be downloading some updates or something. So down goes all those mines, or down go all those mines. Next up, I'm going to go artillery, the boom mine, and the headquarters. Even though that headquarters has got a lot of health, every little bit counts. Now we go ahead and double smoke the beach, of course. And I will go ahead and flare straight onto that's machine gun. Ooh, seems like we did lose one guy or so. Or one warrior. Alright. So onto that supply point. And then I'll go ahead and smoke the headquarters. That smoke could have been a little bit better. I'll leave a little bit of space and uh, very little can attack us. So that's always good. So next up, what I'm going to do is get critters shot. Critters again, I think. Throw a heal down. Throw another heal down. Throw some critters. Alrighty. Jeez, that was uh, very, very stressful, but we'll get there. The most important thing about this stage is distracting those rocket launchers because there's about five, six or so of them. Yeah, about six of them. And they destroy anything. They have, I think, the whole reach of the headquarters within range, so... Very, very tough stage. We did lose 42 Warriors, even with our double boosts. Very, very difficult, I've got to say. But until next time, though, I'll see you guys maybe, maybe tomorrow, but I doubt it. So I'll see you next year.